Hey guys, Buffalo here. Now if you're like me, when you think of a 380 pocket pistol, you think of a small polymer frame pistol that sacrifices everything for ease of carry. Today we're going to take a look at the pistol that led the way, the Keltec P3AT. Alright guys, before we get into shooting this little gun here, let's take a take a close-up look at it. Now it's obviously not a uh, what I would call an eye pleaser of a gun, but then again Caltech didn't set out to design a beauty queen when they introduced this gun back around 2003. Now this one is a uh, second generation. They did have a the first generation which was out for a couple of years and they made a few minor changes to it and now this one is what they refer to as the second gen. So let's take a look at it close up here. All right guys, now this little pistol belongs to a good friend of mine and he loaned it to me and I've kept it for about three months and uh, just to familiarize myself with it and get used to shooting it. And I want to say up front, I am not a real big fan of the 380 round. You know, it's got its place, but I was never a big fan of it. But this little pistol has caused me to come around a little bit. All right guys, let's start out here taking a look at the sights. Um, as you can see, they're they're pretty small. They're not real visible. They're, uh, but what they give up in size that they're made to be snag proof. You can pull this gun out of your pocket and it's not going to snag. And it's not a bullseye pistol anyway. It's just to get you started in the right direction. All right, and here's a look at the grip panel on this gun. Uh, it's it's pretty aggressive. It feels good in the hand. I can get about a finger and a half on the grip without the magazine extension and I can get a full two fingers on the grip with the magazine extension. Now this is a double action only hammer fired pistol. Uh, the trigger is gonna, gonna require about five pounds of pull. It's, it's a kind of long pull, but it's not a terrible trigger. I've, I've shot much worse. So here's a look at the hammer mechanism as it's fired. Now the gun will have to cycle before you can fire again so it doesn't have second strike capability but it is still considered a double action only Now guys, that trigger reset, it's kind of like the, uh, the car C on 9 I was showing. You have to come all the way out to get that trigger reset before you can pull again. And I shoot Glocks most of the time, so you probably noticed there that I'm, uh, I'm pulling my trigger again before I get it reset. But you have to come all the way out with it. All right, guys, now I'm not going to sit here and go through all the boring specs, the uh, weight, the length, uh, all that stuff. But what I will do is at the end of this video, I'll put it on a screen where you can pause it and, and kind of look over it if you want to know that kind of stuff. But I'm, I'm trying to get away from doing that because you can just go to the manufacturer's website on any gun that I might review and, and get all that information. Kind of waste time on the video going over it. So uh, let's go into shooting this thing a little bit. Okay guys, one more thing before we get started shooting. I did want to show how easy this gun is to carry. Now I don't have a holster or anything. You can just drop this gun into just any kind of any kind of jeans and it hardly shows. Now if you had a pocket holster in here, it would break that up and you wouldn't be able to distinguish that from a cell phone or a wallet or, or whatever else you might have in your pocket. Really handy little pocket gun. Got a malfunction, fail to eject there. All right. Now this gun is a six round capacity. Six plus one. All 
I'm about 30 feet away from these targets. Let's shoot the next one on the left. All right, guys, you can see the sights are pretty small, but they do get the job done. Like I said, I'm about 30 feet away, and that's a 12-inch uh, target there. It might be a small little defensive pistol, but I'll tell you what, it's fun to shoot too. Hey guys, uh, I'm going to close this video out with uh, just give you my thoughts on this little gun here. And now I'm not a firearms expert, I've never claimed to be. I do these videos to help somebody that, that may be looking at a gun and not knowing if they want to get it or not. I, I do these videos to let them take a look at it. But uh, these little guns are really small, they sacrifice everything in order to be carried easy. And what I mean by that is uh, you don't get any bells and whistles, the, the sights are small and snag free, the, the grip is really slim, you can't get a, a full hand on the grip. I mean, it's just, it's not an easy gun to shoot, but it's an easy gun to have on you. And that's the most important thing. I've seen so many people go out and get their first gun and they'll go out and get the biggest, baddest 45 watching my jigger that they can go get. But uh, what, they ha what they do is they'll carry it for a while and it, it'll be uncomfortable, but they're too macho to admit it. And what'll happen is over time, they'll leave that gun home more and more and more. Now, chances are, if something happens and you need that gun, it's gonna be home in the safe. A gun like this, whether it be the kel like I've got here or a uh, Ruger LCP, which is almost a copy of this gun, or the uh, Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. I mean, they're all about the same size, but a gun like this, you're more likely to have on you. And that's the most important thing. Now, I mentioned earlier that I wasn't a big fan of the 380. i I'm one of those guys that uh, I don't like to drop below the energy of a nine millimeter or a 38 as a self-defense carry gun. But I can see a 380, if, if this is what it takes for you to carry a gun, and keep it on you, then I highly recommend you get one. If anything else is too big or too bulky, or just whatever, this gun takes away all those excuses. And I would much rather have a 380 than a rock or a stick. I mean, come on, people. But uh, that's, the, that's the point I'm trying to get across on this video. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, give me a like, share this video if you can, and we'll see you again soon.